He was born in Washington, D.C. He, of course, created quite a sensation. He was, uh, had that type of personality. He liked people. Uh, he liked to charm people. His father helped in uh, inspiring him. That his father was a fairly good football player. George just kept growing and growing and getting better and better. Going deep for McGowan. He's got it. I was just a football player. Inside, I wanted to play. It was the only thing I could do was play football. When he came to Edmonton, he came as a defensive back. So he knew what defensive backs were supposed to do. But I would not only come in and cover the receiver, but I would slice in front of them and reach up and catch the ball. And so it was, you know, I was an obvious natural receiver. And uh, Joe Zaleski said, hey McGowan, get over here. And so that's when I started to play receiver from then on in. He always found the open line. And, and when he was man to man, he always would get open. I can't ever recall a pass that he dropped. When George played, uh, they didn't have the one bump rule. Uh, so you could, a defensive back could uh, bump a receiver down the field for the entire time during a play. And many times, George would end up getting his jersey replaced in a football game because he literally got it ripped off his back. He had the ability to run good routes. Like, he might not have been fast, but it's amazing how many people he outran. But he made great cuts. He convinced you he was going in one direction when he was going in the other. George and his good-looking California image, I uh, talked to Dwayne Mandrusiak about this, who's an equipment man uh, and was around at the time back then. And uh, Dwayne says George would go to look at the mirror and, and flip his hair around and uh, say, oh, it just doesn't get any better than this. He was a different guy. He kind of had a surfer attitude. I, he was easy going. I mean, he could fit in with anybody. He could fit in with business people. He could fit in with hippies. I mean, he is incredible. And, and you couldn't not like him. And he would have played more years. I, I remember the injury that cost George. We were in Hamilton at the All-Pro Countdown. And, and I was there, and I threw the pass. I caught a sideline pass uh, two feet inbounds and got hit. Uh, in the lower legs. George re really never was the same after that and it's unfortunate because he was at the peak of his career. Coach Campbell came up to me and said, George, you know, I think this is it. I said, you know, <laughs> I think you're right. When football ended for me, uh, I did not know what to do with my life. It ended up in 82 that uh, I took a trip down to California to visit my family and uh, uh, there uh, oh another year after that I met uh, my wife. We've been married 17 years in June and um, you know when when he asked me to marry him he he said that he would like to um, he would like me to be his wife and he wanted to be the father of my children and so um, I had three at that time and then we had two more we had Seth um, about a year or two later, and then Danielle after that. So, yeah, we've, we have five, and it's been great. He's pretty incredible, and um, he came into my life when I was eight, and just, he took us on like his own kids, and he's just been a wonderful father. So very supportive throughout my life. The commercial maintenance, uh, that we do. Uh, we've got about 22, 23 uh, working in the maintenance and uh, I supervise and uh, you know run that part of it, do bidding and what have you. Go out in the field and uh, see how our our men are doing, make sure that uh, okay. uh, so they're doing the, the right kind of work. It was just wonderful seeing what he did and uh, with his uh, ability. I'm proud of what he has done with it. Personally, and I know there's other receivers, and I've played with some great receivers, Brian Kelly and that, but uh, to me, George was the best. <laughs>